For Musa, being in Iceland feels like winning the lottery. In October 2016, after many difficult years in Syria and Lebanon, he, his wife and six children were given asylum in Reykjavik. The public is very kind and nice and I didn't expect that. I expected there to be issues and problems like there were in Lebanon. But I feel mentally relaxed in Iceland. My wife and children also do. While keen to integrate, the family are also staying in touch with their Muslim identity. Musa must take three buses to reach the local mosque. On Sundays, his children take Arabic lessons at the centre. There are fewer than 100 Syrian refugees in Iceland, where in winter, temperatures can reach as low as minus 25, with only three hours of sunlight. Many are given accommodation in Akureyri, a northern town less than 40 miles from the Arctic Circle. The people of Akureyri are, are but they were very interested in the beginning and still are, and they have helped us a lot uh, to integrate uh, the families to be, so they feel that they are at home. And of course we know that it is, has been difficult for them to, to come to a new country uh, here up in the north. <laughs> Juma fled Damascus in Syria with his wife and five sons. They now live in Akureyri. The language is the main obstacle. I mean, we're able to adapt to any conditions here, whether they're difficult or easy. We can live with them. It's only the language that's a little bit difficult. We need some time, and then we'll fully adapt. Younger Syrians, like Juma's children, pick up Icelandic faster. Making friends at school and playing local sports has helped them to adjust to their new home. I like Iceland because it's uh, very nice and uh, very nice people. And here it's, uh, we like it snow because in Syria maybe see snow, maybe not. Dozens more Syrians are due to arrive on the island in the coming weeks, all hoping for a warm welcome, whatever the weather.